My name is Anthony Brown. I'm the Vice President of Mighty Lube and Opco. I'm here today to answer the weekly question from Michaela. That question was regards to your cat chain and if you should ever put grease on it. The answer is no. And a shout out to John and Chad for answering that correctly. We definitely look forward to more weekly questions coming out and uh, look forward to your guys' feedback. The reason we start off with this question is extremely important because a lot of times um, domestically and especially internationally, we have ran across several clients and, and manufacturing plants is putting grease on those cat chains. And the reason you do not want to do that is a few reasons. The main reason is grease is made of three parts. It's made of base oil, thickener, and additive. Now, the chances of whatever lubricant you're putting on that chain to be compatible is very unlikely. You always want to make sure to work with your manufacturer, so who you're getting your grease from and your lubricant from, if it's a different manufacturer, and make sure it's compatible or send it off to a laboratory and get your ASTM test, compatibility test done on that. The other reason is, is grease has thickener in it, and that thickener at a lot of times creates a barrier. So when you're, that chain is engaging, your power chain is engaging that cat chain, what it's doing is it's creating a barrier on your link pin. So when you try to lubricate it, that oil actually just rolls right off which you can already sense that, that what's gonna happen is that chain is gonna prematurely wear. And the last thing you wanna do is have your chain prematurely wear. You're gonna to wanna to get several lights a year on that chain. And if that lubricant is unable to penetrate those wear areas, you're gonna obviously get a lot more friction on friction and you're gonna have that chain wear out much faster. The other bad part about this is, is that thickener can be tacky. So that grease can, being stuck on top of link pins like that, you can start seeing a lot of debris get stuck up on that chain, which can cause contamination issues falling on your parts. Special areas like body, we got weld dust in there, um, powder coaters that get all the paint particles stuck up there and falling down. You just want to be very careful on what the lubricants that you're using on your cat chain, that they're compatible, that you're not using a grease, and on that lubricant, you can use a thicker viscosity on your cat chain, but it's always a better rule of thumb to use whatever lubrication you're using on your power chain as well as on your cat chain. Now on a cat chain, you should always have a drip pan underneath that cat chain. And the reason for that is that cat chain, you should always be able to see visually lubricant on it. I always tell all of our reps and the, our clients that you should have that chain wet. Not so, but you should see a thin line of oil on your drip pan and you should all shine with the flashlight and easily see there's lubricant on that cat chain. Um, there's a lot of surface to surface friction going on between the power chain engaging that cat chain. So you do need a, a film always protecting that engagement. And that's why a lot of times people are using that grease is because they have it, it's too late, and they start hearing that major popping sound. And the grease, of course, is gonna quiet that right down. But the after effects of what can happen to hurt your actual power chain is drastic, drastically reducing the life of your chain. We uh, thank you guys for everybody that did view the video. We look forward to uh, commenting on this video and, uh, and more videos to come. Thank you so much, this is Anthony again, and look forward to hearing from you guys, thanks.